Okay. Whew. All right, I'm a little exhausted, but I'm going to try to um, pretend I'm not. Um, okay, so um, I have two friends, and they've been sort of going back and forth and back and forth, kind of like having a pissing contest or whatever. Um, but one of the things that they went back and forth with uh, recently was, um, oh, I can buy her this, oh, I can buy her that, oh, I can, I can buy you this, oh, I can buy you that. It's just like, okay, um, that's nice if it's even true, but I, I don't know, I don't care. But um, I think, you know, I mean, like, it's, I'm not, I'm not complaining because, you know, every girl likes to be fought over or whatever. It's just that I, I think what annoys me is that it feeds into this culture that I don't like. Um, this, this very desperate, superficial, it's all about making money culture. And, it's kinda, you know, it's like it's even difficult, like, you know, when I meet people, including in the media, what they feed us in the media, you know, you'll ask a person, so what's your goal in life? To be rich? Sometimes they'll add famous, but you know, you'd be like, okay, but what do you want out of life? To have money. <laughs> and you'll be like, all right, great. What's your destiny? To be wealthy. And you're just like, okay, great. We understand that money will help you or it can help you achieve your, your destiny. But what is your destiny? Money money is the vehicle, not the destination. So we understand that it's the vehicle, but what is your destination? And they'll just be like, I just want to have lots of money. And then you'll just talk to people. You'll be like, so, you know, what's your, what's your, what's your, you know, what are you about? They'll be like, chasing Piper, man, chasing Piper. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So your goal is to make money because your desire is to make money, because your purpose in life is to make money. Really? If, if survival and survival times infinity is all we're here for, then, um, well, that's just a very depressing thought, and it doesn't really make sense, seeing as how we all have so many gifts that we've been given that we're supposed to share, and that we're supposed to kind of, you know, seek and explore the depths of life a little more thoroughly and contribute something deeper to this planet than simply leeching off of it you know and so it's kind of like i don't know i, I figured out what my ideal mate is now um who, somebody who when i ask them what what their what their thing in life is they don't say oh making money you know because like i i, I appreciate what money can do but it's a tool it's a tool that you use to to accomplish your goals. It's not the goal. You know, financial freedom is, is, a, is a goal for the sake of financial freedom, but it's not the main goal in life, you know? So, like, I, I want somebody who wants to help people and change the world and and make a difference, and, and you know, whether it's directly or indirectly, because, you know, I want to change things both in the media, you know, as well as, you know, directly altruistically. You know, because that's that's what I'm about. <laughs> I like to um, write stories that uh, are positive and inspirational and, and entertaining. And also, you know, star a diverse cast of people as opposed to um, Barbie and Ken. Because, you know, we, have, we see enough of that every day. I mean, you know. I mean, I would think even brunette white people are sick of that crap. But, um, yeah, and I want to, you know, inspire the youth and, and keep, you know, help the youth get get on the good tra track or stay on the right track, with whichever place they are in life. And and I, I want somebody who wants to help people, not just make money. Because everybody, we have to make money to survive. I get that. But it's not, I mean, it's not, it's not a destiny. Making money is not a destiny. That's why I say my mom's like, oh, I, I foresee you one day marrying a rich stockbroker. I'm like thinking to myself, well, girl, you will. I am not going to be marrying some boring paper chaser whose goal in life is all of money and and <laughs> and who, um, 
you know, is probably cheating on me because he has no character. I don't think so. I would rather have the youth minister who's, you know, trying to, you know, help some kids and, and make a difference. And, you know, he's not rich, but he's he's rich inside, you know, he's rich spiritually. And that that's more meaningful and more lasting. And I, you know, it's heroic. I want a guy who's heroic. You know, because I, I, I mean, I admire people who can, who make lots of money, even, even if it's not in, in a way that, you know, impresses me in terms of how they made it, you know, like, like I, I'm impressed by, you know, artistic things and altruistic things and spiritual things and, and, um, and, you know, just fun, fun things, you know, but, um, you know, there's people who they, they know how to make money just, just like that. And I mean, I, I, I don't have a problem acquiring money, I just have a problem keeping it, because I'm not the most responsible with it. But that's another story, that has nothing to do with my point, don't, 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 let's not, let's not get off track. My point is, um, <laughs> my point is that, you know, it's, it's, it, to admire somebody just because they know how to make a lot of money, only for that reason, is kind of short-sighted and superficial, and it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like saying, so, you know, you like somebody just because they know how to survive. Okay, but what if they stab someone in the back to get there? You don't care? It doesn't matter, you know, how they got there. It's just the fact that they got there, you know? I mean, I admire Oprah, not not just because she's like the richest woman in the world or whatever, and I know how hard it must have got taken her to get there, but... Because she's she's like a humanitarian. She she shares the wealth. She tries to help people. You know, she gives cars to her friends. I mean, she she's she's cool. You know what I'm saying? She's cool. She's not freaking Donald Trump, who is not cool. You know, <laughs> I don't I do not admire or like Donald Trump, but I adore Oprah. You know what I'm saying? So and you know, I mean, she's not the only person I, I like. I like a lot of people. You know, but you know, and Will Smith is tight. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's just, I just, uh, I don't know. And, and, and how our government is so obsessed with money and, you know, wanting to, wanting to censor the internet for the purpose of stopping people from making money off of it illegally when there's child porn and, and, and sex slave trafficking all over the place and nobody's concerned with any of that and the, and the racial hate groups, nobody cares about that, really. But you care about people making money. <sighs> so anyway... I know I rambled, it's a little another long video, but <laughs> I just had to say that. So, uh, money, I make money, money doesn't make me. You make money, money doesn't make you. That's the moral. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>